right, folks. John Rush here today uh, from Drive Radio. My son Richard Rush is behind the camera. We're going to do a long review of this particular car. This is the 2016 Volvo V60 Cross Country T5 All Wheel Drive. Uh, we'll start start from the front. We'll walk around. One of the things I want to start to show you is this particular vehicle has no high beams. It's a new technology that a lot of the manufacturers are starting to embrace, Volvo being one of them. What they do is it's always on high beam and then they just move or shade the light according to what's coming in front of you. So if you've got oncoming traffic, cars that you're, you're coming up behind and so on, it will automatically shade the light. But there is no high beam on this car. It's, it's a self-adjusting high beam lamp, if you will. This particular car, all-wheel drive, it includes a torque vectoring in the corner, traction control, which is really a cool thing that Volvo's got. Of course, it's got, in the interior when we get into it, it's got a, a great 40, 20, 40 rear seat that, that we'll get into in a minute with built-in child uh, booster seats right into it. Of course, it's got the, the Cenus Connect and, of course, heated wheel, heated seats, all that good stuff. Uh, but it's also got some of the safety features. Pedestrian and cyclist avoidance technology that's all radar-based, and so is the so is the, um, the blind spot monitoring system is also radar-based. And, of course, it's got cross-traffic alert. Let me move over to this side, get out of the shade. Cross-traffic alert also on the vehicle. So, fuel economy in this car. We've averaged right around 20 miles to the gallon in this car. It's rated for 20 and 28. So, depending on who's driving it, my son Richard or myself, I get around 21 to 22. He's been getting around 20 to 21. Just depends on how you drive the car. Now, I will tell you this. The car runs extremely well. This particular car with the all-wheel drive option, 254 horsepower, and, and the car works and runs extremely well. So tell you what, let's go for a drive. We'll come back, we'll walk through some of the interior, show you some of the key features that, that's on this car, and again, Volvo being, again, one of the safest vehicles on the road. We'll go through some of those safety features. I mentioned a few of those just a moment ago. Let's go for a quick drive. We'll come back and go through the interior. All right, folks, we're going to go for a quick drive now in the 2016 Volvo V60. And I'll get started by showing you, and it's, and it's cold outside, so some of this we normally do as we go through the interior, but I'm going to do it now instead because of how cold it is outside. It does have a nice sunroof. It's not, it's not super deep, but it is a nice sunroof. Uh, they've done a nice job on that, and you open and close it with the button here, which I'm not going to do right now. And, and there's a sunshade that actually closes in up and down right here, which, which again makes it quieter and a little bit warmer. You do have your garage door opener controls here, rear view mirror, which I will say I like. Nice and sleek, no buttons on it, nothing to, to go, you know make it look all gaudy. A lot of your radar and lane sensing and all of that is built into this. Your, your pedestrian alert, cyclist alert, all of that is built into here. And as you can see, I've already got this thing in... in uh, uh, reverse or I should say in drive I backed up a minute ago I'm in drive right now but you can see if I go back to reverse you can see the screen and it does have dynamic grid lines where it'll show you how close you are getting to the curb which is again a nice feature that for a lot of people is, is a nice added feature I'll go back to drive it's gonna stay there until I actually pick up some speed and go down the road the center stack pretty standard for Volvo um, all of your heating HVAC is all in here plus everything to do with the radio the telephone all of your information on the car all of that is internal right here, and I will tell you that this takes a few minutes to get used to when you first pop in the car. So those of us, you know, we, we drive a lot of different cars. Um, this is a, in my opinion, a little less intuitive system, but once you get used to it, it actually works really well, and you know exactly where to go to make everything work. So that's that's it's not something that I'm going to give it a knock on, but it is, instead of being screen driven, it all is button driven out of here. There's no knob down here like a lot of the vehicles have where you can control. You literally, one of the downsides for me is you're looking for what the number, you know, what the actual message is on each one of the buttons, finding that to control what's up on the screen. Just something to note, you'll need to check that out for yourself. You can turn off the collision avoidance or the radar. All of that is here, your parking assist, lane departure, heated steering wheel, and these buttons do fold down. Richard will show you when I hit the button here, it folds down the rear headrest, which again, pop up and are a little bit in your way if you're looking at the rear view mirror. So if you don't have any rear passengers, that's kind of a nice feature up here. You can actually fold those down automatically. There's also a camera button here, which Richard, if you can show real quick, it does show there's the front of the vehicle and I can cycle through. There's the back of the vehicle. So front, if I pull forward, you'll see what I mean. That's the back actually. And there's another back view. Front, or a, a, should say a, a closer back view is what I'm trying to say. And a longer back view is what I meant to say. Um, all the rest of your steering wheel controls are all pretty standard. This, this wheel is heated, which right now in Colorado is a great feature. It does have adaptive cruise. 
Uh, it does have automatic wipe, rear wiper in the back. And this one also has a headlamp washer. So when you go to wash the windshield off this bad weather we had this last week, a great feature that it has is it also does wash off the headlamps. And as I, as I talked about in the opening, automatic high beam headlights. So the high beams, you can actually, you, know, you really don't have anything over here to control. As you can notice here, as I move on the le lever, there's a flash. So if you want to flash the high beams of somebody coming at you, that's, that's all you do. There is no high beam control on the lever like a lot of you are used to. So with that, let's take a real quick drive. Oh, one other thing Richard wanted me to mention is the child safety features that it's got. This car is very, very safe for your kids. You can actually lock the rear windows, the rear doors. All of that can be done from right here in front of the, you know, right here in this, in the driver control panel, right on your left-hand side. So again, some great features, Volvo, you've done as far as the safety goes. Let's take a quick drive. I will say this car is comfortable. It's quiet. The car works great when you're, uh, you know, when you're, uh, uh, you know, trying to use it in the snow, the, the different things that we've had this last week. Again, we had one foot of snow this past week while we had this car. And, and I will tell you, this car did not miss a lick anywhere we went to drive it. Uh, there were some pretty deep uh, snow, uh, not necessarily snow banks, but some just some deep snow. Where I live is about 5,600 feet. So getting up and down my hill to get to my house, no problem with this car. Drove right where I needed to go, no issues. The all-wheel drive works fantastic. The electronic controls that they use to make all of the wheels stay stuck on the ground work fantastic. And the other thing I will I will note is this car works great at, at avoidance of accidents. So accident avoidance. The car is great. It's safe. It's always looking out for you. Um, and in this type of, of weather that we've had this past week where you've got people in front of you that don't always know what they're doing. No offense in Colorado here. We have a lot of people that don't know how to drive in the snow. This car helps you with that because it's always looking out for what's going on around you with the traffic and the people that are driving around you. So quiet car, roadability is fantastic. The drivability is fantastic. Is this a car I would own? Absolutely. My only complaint, and I'll show you this here in just a minute, is some of the middle seat room where Richard's sitting as we speak. I'll get into that in just a minute. Let's go back. We'll walk through the rest of the interior, and I'll give you my opinion of the 2016 Volvo V60. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the drive. We're going to go through the interior now. A couple of things I wanted to mention, though. I've got the window sticker right in front of me. Some of the options that are on this car. This car retails out at $49. 775 includes the platinum package which is $3650 the climate package with the child booster seats which I'm going to show you here in just a minute that's 1550 and it has the BLIS which is the uh, blind spot information system $925 that gives you the cross traffic alert front park assist and the lane change merge age aid I should say lane change merge aid metallic paint is another 550 and then it's got some uh, wood inlays which is another 400 bucks and the 19 inch wheels $750 gets you up to the 49,775 all right let me show you the rear hatch this is not an automatic hatch so you do have to walk back here hit the button and raise it up now is that a, a you know is that a, a downer some of you it may be some of you it may not you'll have to be the judge of that it's not hard to open up and then close back down but it is not an automatic gate so as we walk around the back here and I will say that the, the lighting is, is not great in here, but you can see it's got a 40, 20, 40 rear, rear seat. So when you fold one of these seats down, which you just jump up here and do, just grab this here. And it does fold, if I had the headset headrest, you can see this is a nice flat floor. So the whole back end could be folded down nice and flat, gives you lots of, uh, lots of cargo room. This is a, a, you know, a wagon type of a rear end, if you would. Night, it doesn't slope really you know, too strongly back here, which gives you a lot of room on the inside. That's done very well. And then underneath, of course, you've got a little bit more storage room where you can put some tools. There's a set of gloves up there already for the, the spare tire that's in the back. You do have a little bit of ability to put a few things back underneath here that are hidden underneath this rear compartment, which is kind of a nice feature. Sunshade or not sunshade, privacy shade, which slides back, which is again, nice if, if you keep things stored back in here that you want people to look in, just a great way for people not to look inside and see what your cargo is. And it's got this cool dog barrier, if you would. So if you've got, you know, some of you that have pets, this comes, you know, really uh, already made into the vehicle. So you're not buying this extra, you know, and then having it installed. It's already here and it does fold up out of the way. So if we remove this actual privacy shield, this can fold up out of the way to where then you don't, have, where you're not looking through that out of the back glass when you're trying to look through the rear view mirror. Doesn't bother me looking through it at all. Those of you with pets would, would really enjoy that. Okay, let me show you something here in the middle seat, which I think is really a cool feature this car has. And again, I apologize for our lighting, 
But if you look here, it's got built-in booster seats. Raise that up. No need to actually have that the extra booster seat for those of you that have kids. The booster seat, you know, the kid will actually, the child will actually sit right here, put the headrest up. They would sit right there, strap them in, and you wait, and away you go, and that's all built in. One thing I want to I want to show you real quick before I climb in is it does have a center console that flips down here. If I can hit the button, and you've got cup holders that do come out that way. So nice added feature there. Let me climb in. Now this is one of the downsides to this car that I don't like. This seat's back quite a ways. Made for somebody that's probably six foot or above, and you will notice there's a little bit of an indentation to where my knees aren't rubbing, you know, the seat in front of me, but it is cramped. I do not have a lot of room back here. I am five foot ten, and unless this seat moves forward, which I would have to reach down or get the passenger to actually move the seat forward, I am cramped. So this is one of those things, again, where you're going to have to get out into this vehicle, check it out for yourself, and see if you, your family, the passengers that are going to be with you actually fit. Don't just rely on you as a driver. Make sure whatever you're going to do with the vehicle also works. Some of the things I do like about the vehicle, though, it's got great leather interior, sunroof up above. Richard can show you the side panel over here. They've got a nice brushed you know, uh, look to it here that they've integrated into the wood grain. Nice soft touch material throughout. So they've done a really great job. Again, for a vehicle that's under $50,000, I think they've done a great job. Now, if I can get back out of this, this is going to be the hard part. As you can see, i kind of got to squeeze myself back out of here. That part, I do not care for. Now, as I said a moment ago, let me show you this. This seat is back all the way. So I just want to show you how much room this particular person has. So I will say, there's a lot of room right here. So if I, as the passenger, were to have brought this up to where I had you know, even enough room... I'd probably have more room back there and be okay. But again, it is pretty confined in that back seat, which is something that you need to take note of if you're gonna buy this car. And also take note of who you're gonna have in this passenger seat. Some of you with kids that are traveling in the back, if you've got a taller adult that's gonna ride in this seat and kids are in the back, always remember something most people forget about when you've got kids in the car seat typically their knees aren't bending a lot of the smaller kids their legs are coming out straight they actually require more room in a rear seat than what an average adult does because our knees bend and go underneath the seat small kids their their knees don't bend or they, they bend but not when they're sitting in that seat because their legs are so short they're in their feet are normally hitting the back of the seat in front of them so just something to keep in mind let me uh let's let's stop the video for a minute i'll jump around and show you the driver's seat all right now we're in the front seat of the uh 2016 volvo v60 cross country and real quick and i know our lighting uh, this time of the year uh, we, it's, it's tough to get the sun where we need it, but great two-tone interior. And, and I will say, these are some of the most comfortable seats that, that I have sat in. Volvo, you've done a great job. This particular vehicle, nice side bolstering. It is, it is really adjustable. Does, does, does make you feel really comfortable when you're in the seat. They've done a great job. Not a lot of console room. You've got a little console back here. Not a ton of room there. Two cup holders right here in the middle. Fairly decent size, so, so not bad there. The standard uh, Volvo center stack. So we've showed you in some of the cars, you know, previous to this, the way all of the center stack works. I will say this: when you first pop in a Volvo, it's so different than everything else on the road. It takes a few minutes to get used to. Once you do, it becomes very intuitive, and it's not a big deal. But I will say, it's different than everything else on the road. It takes you a little bit of extra time to get used to how everything actually works in this center stack. So I tell you what, the rest of it we showed you in the driving portion. Let me jump out and give you my opinion of the 2016 Volvo V60. All right, folks, uh, our opinion, my opinion of the 2016 Volvo V60 Cross Country. Uh, what do I like about this car? It's sporty, it drives well, it works great in the snow. As you can see from around us right now, we went through about a foot of snow this past week and this car didn't miss a lick through any of it. That part, fantastic. I love the safety features that are on the Volvo. That I love uh, very much. I like the built-in booster seats that are in the middle seat. I like the rear cargo capacity and how large that is. One thing I dislike about this car though is because of all that cargo capacity, which is great, the second row seating when it comes to legroom, which we showed you a little earlier, I do not like. I really wish maybe they'd lengthen this out just a tad or move those seats back, but maybe that's what the uh, that's what the uh, the larger Volvo models are for. So you just step up in, in size, but that's also going to step you up in price. This vehicle, under $50,000, really a good value. You're going to have to be the judge, though, to see if this car actually fits you and your lifestyle. Oh, those of us in Colorado, this is a great vehicle all around for the Colorado weather and the winters that we have here. But I tell you what, you be the judge of that. You go out, check it out at your local Volvo dealer. Let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.